This is part two of painting dappled light. In this tutorial, we'll be painting the dappled light in this image. Here's the gray color that I'll use on the cement. It's kind of a blue-violet, high value, and it has all three primary colors in it. Ultramarine blue, cadmium red, and cadmium yellow. I'll lay a piece of white paper next to it so you can see the value of it relative to pure white. Then I'll put some titanium white here so you can see how close the titanium white is to the white paper. This will be the shadow color that I use on all of the dappled shadow. I'll make it a little darker in a couple of different places that I'll show you later. Of course we'll be using our primary colors, ultramarine blue, cadmium red, and cadmium yellow also. Now this is my medium. You can learn how to make this medium by going to our medium video. The first brush I use will be a number six Silver Grand Prix Bright. The other brush that I'll use today is a number 12 Lang Nickel Royal Sable series number 5590. This is a very soft brush with long hairs that are made from weasel hairs. I would encourage you to look for companies that clearly state that they do not destroy animals for the manufacturing of brushes. Most of the hairs for artist paint brushes are a byproduct of the food industry. Some animals, like weasels, don't have to be destroyed in order to get the hair for paint brushes. So I'll start with my gray, which is kind of a blue-violet color, and I'll start with this dark color under the planter. Now remember we talked about edges and values in the first video when we were talking about the attributes of a cast shadow. And I'll be painting three kinds of cast shadow on this cement. And the primary difference between the three cast shadows are the edges. The edges of the shadow that are close to the planter will be sharp or hard. Now right here, there's some cast shadows from the plants that are in the garden. These shadows here are being cast by the tree above. And I'll be softening these edges here in a moment with my finger. Now see on the soft edges I take my finger and smudge the edge of the paint and it'll make that edge softer. Again these are shadows that are being cast by the tree above. Now remember, I said that when a shadow is close to the object, 
In other words, this shadow is close to the planter that it not only has a hard edge, but the shadow is a bit darker. Now here's the shadow that's being cast by the plant above. It has a fairly soft edge, but not as soft as the shadows that are being cast by the tree. So they're a little bit defined, but not as defined as the tree, and they're not as sharp as the edge of the shadow that's being cast by the planter. You'll notice here that I'm using my Langnickel brush now for these edges that are a little harder. Notice how I'm softening some of the edges. Just take your finger and smudge a bit. Now I'm going to mix my dark accent again. Remember I said in the first video, the dark accent is a combination of equal amounts of ultramarine blue, cadmium red, and cadmium yellow and it makes this kind of red violet color when you put white in it you're able to see what the true color is so I'll mix a little white in here this is what the true color is obviously it's darker so I use this as my darkest dark in the painting I won't go any darker than this and remember I used this color on the fence and on the background and on the dirt Thank you. 
Some of these leaves reflect the sky, and that's what this blue color is. These leaves are actually green, but they're reflecting the sky color, so that's why they appear to be blue. They're almost the same color as the concrete. Now I'll mix some of this green color for the foliage. I'm not really developing this foliage very much because this painting is about dappled light on the cement. It's really not about flowers and bushes, but I do want to finish it a bit. Now I'll finish this painting off with the flowers. We'll use some pure color here, and I'll use my knife to make these edges real sharp. See how I get the paint on the knife here? Notice how a little color really opens this painting up. Now the painting looks real colorful, and it's just by adding a few dabs of pure color. Remember, everything else is muted because it has all three primaries in it which actually technically makes it a gray color. So every color on this painting, except for the flowers, is some version of gray. A gray that will lean toward the yellow, a gray that will lean toward the blue, a gray that will lean toward the green, or a gray that will lean toward the red. So that wraps it up for painting dappled light. I hope this helps. If you would like to know how to paint a particular thing, send us an email or click on our button that says suggest a tutorial and let us know what you think on Facebook or Twitter. 